Mystery Riddles! So sorry, I'm just redo that. Mr. Riddles. Dude, let's go. We're back. It was exciting. You? No? Okay. Well, we're still gonna watch this, so let's get into it. Okay. One morning. And then we got a, is that a cop car? Lindsay was attacked in her home. Oh, God. Freaking Lindsay. No, lock the door. Oh, is she good? The police came over. What happened to Lindsay? Questioned some suspects. Good. Good. You better question them. Freaking Hillary, Jim, and Mary. Her friend Mary said she went in to work early. What the heck kind of hair is that? I don't trust her. She had to perform heart perform perform. She had to perform heart surgery on an old man. Okay, wait. I already figured it out, bro. Oh, let's go. All right, let's just continue. I'm not gonna say anything yet. Her neighbor Jim said he just got back from a business trip. Uh, okay, I believe it. And Lindsay's sister said, oh, Hillary. She worked the night shift last night. Hmm, okay, okay. She had found Lindsay and called the cops. Okay, I believe her. I believe her, I guess. Guys, you wanna know why? I know. No? Okay. It's pretty freaking simple. You see, Mary? Well, I don't trust her haircut, and that's why. That's why. No, I'm just kidding. It's because she's a vet. You see that? And she didn't perform heart surgery on the old man. Because vet means animals. Actually, is a person with a medical degree trained to take care of the health of animals. Clearly. So, there you go. A liar. And she has stupid hair. What the heck? Anyways, we're gonna continue. It's Mary. Yes! I'm correct. She uh, works at a vet. That's one. Before we go to the next one, guys, make sure to go check out 7 Second Riddles down below. I'll leave their link. They're the ones who make these really, really cool animations and mystery riddles, so go check them out, guys. By the way, if you are enjoying these mystery riddles and want more, leave a like! Let's continue. Who will survive? Um, is this guy peeing? Or is that sweat? I think that's sweat. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, so we got a nice warm blanket. We got a mummy. What is he? Is that toilet paper? What do you freaking do? You're the one who stole all the toilet paper in quarantine. Ah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna go with blanket, dude. He, nothing wrong with him. He has really, really tiny feet though. So, I mean, he might not survive because his feet are so tiny and they'll probably fall off. I don't know. Let's just see. I'm gonna go with Blanket Guy. Am I right? The second one? Why? He looks a bit rough, but at least he's warm. What about Blanket Guy? That's what counts. The first still wet. Oh, he's peeing his freaking pants, dude. We're heading for a human icicle. What about the third? Just socks? Oh, those are socks. Oh, I just thought he had tiny feet, dude. Don't think he can walk with frozen legs. I guess so. Whatever. I knew I had to do with his fate. Okay, next one. Who will survive? Okay, so we got this guy with the water, full water bottle, and he's got a fishing rod. Dude, he can eat and he can drink a water bottle, so that's good. This guy's got a knife and some paper towels? Uh, I mean, that's good, I guess, for killing... I guess he could kill fish with a knife. And then this guy's got a gun and a bucket. Nice, dude. Why'd you bring that? I mean, you could kill fish. You could shoot him, maybe. And then the bucket for, I don't know, putting the fish in the bucket? I don't know. I'm gonna go with the left guy because he looks freaking jacked too and uh, he's just he's got water and a fishing pole and that's how you, you fish you eat food forever you teach a man to fish you you have fish I don't know the quote but yeah you get the picture the second one again what if you've got a knife, you can make tools for hunting or fishing. What? What is this, though? Is that paper towel? That looks like a good shelter. Paper towel. Yeah, real good shelter. What? I don't understand. And this will help collect rainwater. Oh, it, okay. So it's like a little bucket. I see. The first, a fishing rod and no hook. Oh, come on, dude. Ah, that's dumb. It's the first guy. He's jacked, bro. It's basically just a stick. Whatever. And what's the water strategy? Okay. Third, a gun might be good protection, but still priorities. You're gonna run out of water. He's got a bucket. He can catch rainwater. Hey bro, I don't know about that. I mean, the gun guy would be fine, but yeah, you're right. The second guy is pretty smart, but what about food? I mean, I guess he can hunt for animals. Whatever. By the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. And also, hit the join button on my channel if you want to become a member. You get some exclusive cool things, so just check it out. A policeman got an urgent message. Someone was smuggling something on flight A-135. Time to solve the case. That's my uh, mystery riddle solving voice. Hopefully you guys like it. I've been told I have a soothing voice, so hopefully it's soothing for you. He found the smuggler's accomplices. Okay. He, we were too scared. What? He was too scared? What? But later that evening, an, account, an accomplice sent him a text. Pie plus parking lot. Pie parking. Apple pie park. Pie park. P pie car. Dude, I don't freaking know what that means. The police realize who the smuggler was. Who? How? How? Why? 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 Pie park. Pie Park. Pie Park. Apple Pie Park. Pie. Pie Car. Pie Park. Car. I don't know. This is dumb. How? How do you know? The pilot. Oh! 
That's too hard, bro. Pilot. Sure, yeah, I'm gonna get that. The policeman solved it instantly. Freaking genius. He should be in the FBI. Okay, who's the vampire hunter? Wait a second, we're pausing this. We got this girl. He's got, he's got sharp teeth. This guy's got sharp teeth and some blood. And he's got his belly, but I don't know why his shirt's like that. Maybe button up a little bit. That's inappropriate. I don't know. I'm gonna go with this girl. I just don't trust her. I really just don't trust her too much. I have no clue. Oh, I didn't even see that, but let's freaking go. I'm just a genius sometimes, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin'? Quick little intermission. Today's video is sponsored by Bang Energy. Now, if you haven't tried Bang, you're definitely missing out. They have amazing flavors like chocolate peanut butter blast. Are you kidding me? Also, one of their newer flavors, Radical Skedaddle. You know what? Let's try this one out. Oh, that's good. Also, flavors like candy apple crisp, guys. You're missing out. You need to go cop some Bang, so click that first link down below. Use code INFINITE25 to get 25% off your purchase. And then after you go cop some Bang, make sure to check them out on their social medias like Instagram at Bang Energy. You won't regret it. Check out Bang. Let's just try out candy apple crisp right now. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All their flavors are good. Anyways, thank you to Bang for sponsoring this video. All right, next up, who's a vampire hunter? They all got spiky teeth. How the heck? Umbrella, um, candy. What? I don't know. One second. Let's just pause it. Look at how freaking tiny his feet is. Feet are. Feet, whatever. They're too tiny. It's this guy. I don't trust you tiny feet, freaking idiot. It's tiny feet over here. He, his feet are way too small. I knew it. Okay. I didn't even see that, but he had tiny feet. It's the person with the tiniest his feet always okay here we go here we go i'm not even gonna pause it this time oh that's garlic it's this guy this guy right here and look how tiny his feet are that is the way to find out who the killer is or who, who the vampire hunter is i freaking know it dude it's the tiny feet and his hands dude he got some tiny hand that's his hand holy that's so tiny but yeah it's the garlic guy garlic tiny feet idiot yep oh i thought it was zooming in on his hands it's because he's got tiny hands and the tiny hands can kill vampire. No. Dude, who just has garlic hanging from their belt? <laughs> Sandra was driving for five hours. She decided to stretch her legs and walk in a meadow. Suddenly, it became dark and a huge tornado appeared on the horizon and a guy with tiny feet captured her. No, that'd be funny, though. There was no shelter around. She's just chilling, dude. She's just like, hmm. Tornado? Ah, I'll be fine. She came up with a few ideas. All I would be thinking is run. Like, that's it. <laughs> Rush to her car and try to drive away. Um, I I guess so. Find a ditch and curl up in it. Okay, there might not be a ditch though. Climb a tree and hide behind the branches. That's stupid because tornadoes can destroy trees. Uh, what should Sandra do to survive? I know that going underground is smart in a tornado. That's why people have those underground bunkers for that kind of thing. So I'm gonna say that. The underground bunker. Okay, the tornado will soon pick up her car and crush it. Knew it. <laughs> She's like, let's go. I don't even care. I freaking won this one. It's B. Yes, the tornado Tornado is likely to pass over without touching her. Let's go. Can you pass this zombie hunter test? Let's go. Study the picture below for 40 seconds. Okay, so we got airport. This is an airport. Um, There's a guy. What is he doing? He's like this. He's like, I don't know what that means. This guy's got a freaking axe, dude. He's good to go. He's going to yeet all these zombies. This guy's running. This girl, holy bone. That's a bone. Ooh, ooh. There's red barrels. Red barrel, airport. You can go on the truck. What else? What else? You know what? I'm savaging enough. I don't even need the 40 seconds. Let's skip ahead. What is it? How many humans are there? Oh, God. Humans. There was one, two, three. Three. Right? Yeah. What? Oh, I forgot about this, dude. <laughs> okay, I might have needed the 40 seconds. I'm an absolute idiot. Oh, there's more questions. How many zombies wear yellow t-shirts? Oh, two. I don't know. Three. Dang it, dude. Yep, definitely should have freaking studied more. God. Guys, never take shortcuts in school and stuff. You'll just look like an idiot like me. <laughs> How many traffic... Bro, you expect me to remember... Oh, I'm just gonna go with three. Let's, uh, is three? Is there... Is Three. Oh, let's go! Wow, I'm <laughs> really smart. What does the sign say? Airport. It says airport. Let's go. I didn't cheat that time. We can just go back and see. Airport. Let's go. I remember that. I don't know why it's pointing down. It's not an airport there. That's a piece of poop right there. Or so I don't know. What's wrong? Not pausing this. Oh, she's got she's got rollerblades on. She's got rollerblades on. Let's go. I'm a freaking genius. You're gonna fall over, Stacy. Okay, I'm not gonna pause this next one. I'm gonna get it. What's wrong? Coffee bar. Um. Um. Uh, 
Oh my god, this is hard. There's an apple. No, no, that's not it. He's ah ah ah. This is oh, there's no chair. Oh, uh, well, did that count? He's freaking doing the no chair sit. Maybe I'll do the no chair sit too. Oh, this is really good for your legs. Okay, what's wrong here? Um um, coffee cocktail ice cream. Coffee. Uh uh. Why? There's no. What? That shouldn't be there. That should not be there. There's nothing to do with this. Oh uh, what what he? What's so bad about that? He's wearing a slipper. I don't understand. That's okay. That's not wrong. An inmate escaped from a supermax prison. The guards didn't even notice for a whole hour. Oh, he's good to go, dude. How'd they not notice? He was freaking, you're stupid. This guy's like, oh, what? I didn't even say that. They called in a famous detective to track him down. Okay, very cool. The tracks led him to a packed local hotel. Three people fit the fugitive. It's that guy. He's got the fugitive shirt on, right? Oh, wait a second. I don't know. Lambert said he just got into town. Ah, uh, yeah, you freak. Look at his legs. Who has legs like that? Also, tiny feet. Remember what I said? Don't trust you. Also, why does he have one sleeve up? Hmm, suspicious. Square legs, also suspicious. Just got into town. Okay, okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Checked into the nearest hotel. Nothing weird. Yeah, I don't freaking trust you at all, loser. Howard said his car broke down. Okay, he has massive hands. But what about his feet? It didn't show his feet. So he had to spend the night there. I believe Howard. Seems like a nice guy. Oh, this guy's creepy. Danny said he, his house was being sprayed for termites. Anything weird about him? Uh, no, he kind of looks like the other guy, though. So he was staying in the hotel for a few nights. I believe him. I think it's the first guy. The detective decided to check their data on the police database. So... Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Driver's license category. Wait a second. It's this guy. It's the dude with hair. With the big hands. He probably has tiny feet, dude, but we just couldn't see it. Okay, so basically he said his car broke down, but he doesn't have a driver's license. He could just not have a driver's license, but no, that, that just wouldn't make sense. He broke out of jail and he stole a car or he, he didn't and he's just lying i think it's it's howard 100 yes yes but how could he even drive without i mean you can drive but it's illegal so let's go guys that is it for the video if you did enjoy smash that like button right now and if you want more mystery riddles 50,000 likes for another one go check out seven second riddles in the description i will see you guys all in tomorrow's video click right here to binge watch the videos <laughs> sorry so sorry so sorry just do it okay bye